Hey everybody, Roxbox90 here with another video. This is going to be my first sponsored opening from Troll and Toad, as you can probably tell from the really cool polo shirt they sent me. So, it has logo and everything. So, they sent me a Deck Builders Toolkit 2011, which I actually have some pretty cool things to say about this because I actually got a couple of these and they're really cool. So let's dive into it and I'll show you what's what's in the box. All right, so let's open her up. So story behind this, the reason why I got a couple of them was because they're a really excellent kit for people who are fairly new to starting magic. Like Wizards tends to push things like fat packs as a way to get a bunch of packs to kind of start yourself or any intro decks but I think this is probably a better idea. So let's see, and I'll tell you why as we open it. So 2011, it comes to this thing. Oh, by the way, random side fact, this box, it's actually pretty roomy inside. So you can fit a bunch of decks. I prefer to put my EDH decks in one like this because you have, you can fit three fully sleeved decks pretty easily. And if you're doing it with penny sleeves, you can probably do it maybe even four. And standard decks, you can fit a whole bunch more. So it's really nice to have. But, as I was saying, the reason why I think this is such a great product is because it kind of gives you variety. It gives you four packs, so you get a Scars of Merodin packed, Merodin Besieged, New Phyrexia, and 2012 Corset. So you get things like, let's open up. So I got it, I'm not a new player. But I got these because, for one thing, a normal fat pack gives you usually 40, it usually gives you somewhere between 40 and 80 land, basic lands, I forget. But in this package, you get things like, you get, I think, 100 basic lands. You get 100 basic lands. So you get a bunch of plains, a bunch of islands, swamps, forests. So it's really nice if you're for the first time, you're kind of starting magic. It gives you a lot of extra land for your decks you're going to be building. Then it also comes with a whole bunch of commonly used commons and uncommons. So you get things like, let me zoom in a little bit. So you have things like Terramorphic Expanse, you get Sarah Angel, Stormfront Pegasus, Unsummon, it's always a good card to have. Negate is an excellent counterspell. You get Palaka Worm, which I love for EDH, it's really good. Mono EDH, you get a bunch of Cultivates, excellent, excellent, excellent card. For Ramp, you get more Tyromorphic Expanses. It seems to be a random mix of cards. So you get some cool ones. Sacred Wolf's always been a favorite of mine. Just love the art. More Terramorphic and Voltaic Key. This was back in the day one of the main cards that John Finkel used in his decks. I think particularly his Tinker deck to be crazy awesome. So it's a really nice card. This one's a, a newer print version, but it's nice. You get some Mur Murs like Palladium Mur. Nice ramp card. Perilous Mur. Always nice. You got. So you get a whole bunch of these staple cards, besides for the basic lands. So you already are ahead, because the fat pack just gives you basic lands and then booster packs. So this gives you, if you're new, a whole bunch of commons and uncommons to start. I think 128. Viridian Emissary, excellent card. This is in my white, green ramp deck. You have Harrow, classic. Search spell, giant growth. Naturalize is good. Condemn, excellent EDH card, by the way. We'll get to it when we deal with Spot removal. It's good removal for general. Get some draw cards, corrupt, old school. I remember the seventh edition one. When I, that's kind of when I started Magic. So this wasn't out then. So sadly, I had to just buy booster packs and intro decks. Oh, and you get some more lands here. So, so I had to buy booster packs. But this is really nice because you get the booster packs, and at really reasonable cost, you get all this other stuff which is really great if you're first starting. You just want to build some casual decks and kind of learn the mechanics. You get a whole bunch of things. So you get 
some more evolving wilds, which is basically Terramorphic Expanse, but different name. Sarah Ascendant, excellent card for token. We need X. Just gain life. Squadron Hawks used to be one of the most powerful cards in Claw Blade, and still is in most Stoneforge and Sword decks. Although they're no longer in standard, but they're a really nice card to use. Pacifisms, classic. I remember I, when I first built my white decks, I would use pacifisms to prevent enemy creatures. It was kind of like an end-all, be-all card when we first started. Get some more stuff. Cancels, which dissipates technically a better cancel, but these are always nice budgetary cards, which everyone likes to have extras of. Mana Leak, of course, is the staple counterspell. One of the best counterspells printed, especially in standard. You got some more stuff. Doom Blades, love Doom Blades. And Duress, these are all excellent cards to use. You have a whole bunch of Matic Vandal, it's really nice, destroys an artifact. Really good card. Lightning Bolt's my favorite removal. This is, I think, the first shock card that I fell in love with, although it's not a shock. It's Flame Slash, but it's okay. Then you have Line of War Elf, which is awesome. One of the best ram cards. So, anyway, you get the 128 commons and uncommons, which is really nice to have. And you get 100 lands, which is also excellent for deck building. And then you get four booster packs. So, let's see what I get in mine. So, Scars of Moden. So, we have a Kemba Sky Guard. Bonds of the Quicksilver, a Goldmer, a Molder Beast, and a Rest, which is an alternate passivism, a Nurok Replica, and a Quarter Shield, Tainted Strike, Seize the Initiative, Flesh Allergy, Twisted Image, Throne of Geth, and a Mimic Vat, which is an absolutely fabulous card to use in pretty much every format. It's a very powerful card. I love it in EDH, but you can use it all over. And it's still standard. And you have a forest, a golem token, and a foil liquid metal coating. That's really pretty. This is an excellent card for many combo decks you can use. That's a nice pack. So, so we have Razor Verge, Rhino, Exploit Golem, Mathsor, Cross Courier, Quicksilver Geyser, Phyresis, which is the process of becoming Phyrexian. It's kind of cool. It's a very flavorful card. Not very good, but it makes something infect. So it's the transformation. Very cool. Section, Phyrexian Digester, Scourge, Servant, Tangle Hulk, Leonian Relic Warder. It's really good on con. Flesh Eater Imp, Core Prowler, and a Mitotic Mayoti Manipulation, which is an interesting rare. We have a Mer Token. And a planes. So that's the Mirrored and Besieged pack. And we have a new Phyrexia pack. Ooh, that's nice. Jetaxian Probe. Excellent card. I run this in my blue white aggro. It's a really powerful card to use. Then we have a Ruthless Invasion. Radiant Betrayers. Vault Scourge. This is an incredibly good card. You can run it in Tempered Steel or even like Weenie Decks. Very powerful card to use. Number the Fallen, War Report, Pristine Talisman, Spire Monitor, Razor Swine, Lost Leonin, which is great art. I love that card. Not not so good, but I love the art. Noxious Revival, whatever. Shrine of the Piercing Vision, which is kind of cool. Exclusion Ritual, which is really kind of kind of. I think it's a pretty good card, if not a bit expensive. And a Bludgeon Brawl for the rare. Funny card. I've gotten so many of these. A Golem and a Forest. I don't know why I'm whispering. You have a Forest. Last pack is the Core Set pack. So you have a Giant Spider, Stormfront Pegasus, Sto Soren's Thirst, Oromancer, Plummet, Goblin Warpaint, Sacred Wolf, Armored Warhorse, 
Ring Flesh, Ponder, which is the new Preordain. It's an excellent card. Definitely recommend it in blue decks. We have a Rusted Sentinel, Lure, Consume Spirit, and an Elvish Arch Druid, which is a really nice card for elf decks. Actually, then we have a Sapling Token, my personal favorite. I have a bunch of these in one of my decks, and a really nice island. Anyway, guys, so that is the total product you get from the Magic Deck Builders Toolkit, which is a really, really excellent product. As I said, I bought before. I think that it's a really nice way to restock on your lands and on your basic common un commons and uncommons that you would use in general in decks, especially casual ones, but if you're even if you're a little more competitive, they're random, so they can come with things like rampant growths and ponders and things that are rather useful even in competitive play. So, so that was the opening, everybody. Sponsored and brought to you by trollandtoad.com. So I have to thank them very much for sending an amazing product for me to open and show you guys. As I said, this sort of toolkit is perfect for newer players and even for older players like myself I've been playing for over 10 years now and I bought a couple of them I think they're really excellent and their price is very very reasonable I will put a link below that you can go and find the deck builders toolkit if you want to check it out and maybe get one for yourself or for your friends if you have players who are new who want to start magic it's definitely a worthwhile investment so in terms of the contest, I'm going to be giving away from this opening an assortment of cards. I'm going to kind of just make a grouping of them. And don't worry, whoever wins will, I think, be pretty happy with what they get. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be some good stuff. So in order to enter the contest, please like the video, favorite it on your channels, and please comment below. Now, the way I want you guys to comment, I want you to go to the trollandtoad.com website and just kind of look around and tell maybe comment below, tell me either something about the store that you particularly enjoy or something about it that you found interestingly unique or that you really found unusual on their website versus other websites. So if you normally use, I don't know, ABU Games, Star City Games, CardKingdom.com, any of these other websites, um, tell me something about Trollandtoad.com that you found particularly nice, useful, interesting, whatever it may be. So leave the comment below, and please don't just copy-paste. That's stupid. Just just give me something, something you found interesting or unique or very helpful that maybe you haven't found elsewhere that you like about their website. Um, and I will be giving, doing a raffle for those who comment, who do all the requirements. I'll go through the names and I'll have a raffle. Not this Monday, next Monday. I'll give it like, I'll give it like a week and a half or so for the contest to go. And anyway, thank you so much for watching the video, and thank you so much to trollandtoad.com for this excellent, excellent sponsored product. Definitely go check it out. I highly recommend it from personal experience. And thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.